Uh oh. Boom. Oh, <laughs> check that out. What are we doing in here? What's who, up, Donnie? Who are these people? So this is Brian and Carolyn from Fram's Camps. We're here in Western Massachusetts taking a look at this awesome setup with some amazing chameleons. So we're going to take a look at some awesome panther chameleons today and uh, a few other really awesome rare chameleons that I am super, super excited about. Um, my little inner chameleon nerd is kind of like <laughs> bursting right now. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah, sure. Shut a bit. Where, where, do you, where, where do you want to start in here? I mean, you want to start with this guy right here? Yeah, we can, yeah, yeah. We can start with what, him. What yeah. are we looking at? Uh, just an attention-hungry chameleon? Yeah. <laughs> that is an ambulobi. It's Flash. He's, a, he's our famous chameleon. Why is he famous? Is he everybody commercial? wants to always see him. <laughs> he always wants to come out. Come on, bud. You gonna come? All right. Oh, oh he's like, no, he's regretting it. He's yeah, like, he's oh, like, no, oh, I see no, a no. camera. <laughs> but this is Flash. He's a pretty big boy. He's our biggest. Wow. That's really, really spectacular. Yeah, he needs a diet. He's on a diet. Yeah, yeah. He likes uh, he likes to eat. That's awesome. So this is about as big as a male panther can. This is about as big get. as we get. Still a substantial yeah. size he's, for, uh, for a he's lizard. Two, just over two hundred grams. Yeah. Yeah. He's about two. Yeah, he's, he's a big boy. Yeah. We have a lot Definitely. of eggs from him. We've got some babies yeah. from him right now too. That's so. awesome. That's uh, awesome. So looking at this setup here, thinking about somebody you might want to be getting into panther chameleons, this is, how big is this enclosure? That's a 24 by 48. So cool. That's what you so want two foot by four yeah. foot for a single male? Yep. Cool. And then tell me, what, what is this lime green thing? That you got <laughs> that's, standing a, that's called a shooting gallery. Here, I'll give this one over to you. Cool. All right. Um, yeah, bud. That's a shooting gallery. So we put our crickets in there. And they come um, over and yeah. start Nailed. eating it up. That's awesome. If we're lucky, guys, we'll get to see some chameleon feeding. Yeah, yes. That's what everybody wants to see, you of know? Of course. You I'm going to take this guy out to show you because I can tell he's getting fired up because he sees Flash. Oh, yeah. This what? is an Ankafi. An Ankafi. All right. Look at this. This, this is the Matisse. battle. They yeah. regularly argue over who's boss. Of yeah. Them. These two always <laughs> are <laughs> trying to figure out who's alpha in this room. Yep. I think it's Flash, but he's, he's trying. Yeah. Orange on him. <laughs> he's always fired up. No, it's all right, bud. Yes. <laughs> Are you in awe right now? I mean, how happy are you, Jeremy? Oh, I'm I'm geeking right now. I oh, love this. Okay, so did you, were you able to catch that motion that you just did with the eye? Mm -hmm. That's how they actually clean their eyeballs. That's how they clean their eyeballs? Yeah, yeah. Is he giving me real information? Or is he yeah, just like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> That's how they do it. I'm just yeah. making things up, you know. I could be making a bunch of this up. <laughs> I would believe you, probably. But dude, this is a rainbow lizard. I it's, yeah. It's this is. Okay. Do you have a chameleon named Skittles? No. We do not. Oh no. come on! But I have one named Nass. Oh, oh daddy, oh, damn. So yeah, he's pretty Check cool. He can be. Eh, a he bit can of be cranky. Ass. Yeah. He's uh actually being actually pretty nice right now. If you guys can't tell the amount of chameleon testosterone that's happening right now. Yeah. <laughs> How can you guys tell that they're like getting all upset spaghetti right now? They would be pretty dull right now. Um, I can actually show you out there one, but this is pretty fired up on all it three looks of them actually right like now. It is. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see how they're puffing their throats up and, and he stuff. He doesn't usually so he's not doing it that He that much. doesn't really care. He never really <laughs> does. He never seems like he really gets mad. Yeah. He's kinda chill. Man. He just has a mind of his own usually. Color-wise, he might be one of the best we have, actually. These are amazing. He's got some crazy yellows in them. Sheesh. Okay, so what uh, drew you guys to the panther chameleons? Oh, boy. Um, I've I'll always wanted a panther wanted one chameleon. I mm. love the colors, and I love the way they oh, eat. he's fired I up. I think that's the... Why, could, did Crispy do that? Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't like Crispy. Crispy, what would you do? <laughs> Everybody, we brought Crispy on the trip it's my because hair. He, he cried. He doesn't like the yeah. hair. It's 
So, oh, Crispy's God. Crispy's uh, an extroverted chameleon oh, nerd. I, I, I absolutely <laughs> love chameleons. I want to get into them. But he's scared of water monitors, so. Yeah, yeah I'm terrified. <laughs> Oh my god, he's got a beautiful oh, man. Yeah, he's so you always wanted to get into the Panthers? I did. I uh, always yeah. wanted wanted one. And then a couple, mm, oh, it's been three or four years ago maybe, Yeah. we got a male, and then we got a female, and said, wouldn't this be fun? <laughs> <laughs> and now, well, yeah. 286 eggs in one year oh, from one right. female later. Yeah. Because she kept getting she pregnant. Kept dropping, yeah. Because um, yeah. they store sperm. Yeah. And right. they can get pregnant like three times. Mm -hmm. Right. Jeez. And uh, it happened. And we had like 40, 40, 40. It was kind of crazy. Damn. I mean, I've never had that many eggs since. Yeah. But wow. It was, so that's what kind of kicked this off into, mm -hmm. yeah. into hyperdrive. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. awesome. From there, we just started buying chameleons. Yeah. I'm not sure what we're up to. No, it's an yeah. addiction. <laughs> so. All right. So we were talking before, so you renovated the basement to yeah, be able to yeah. really control yeah, this. So it's all heated. Right. It's a little tighter than I thought it was, guys. So yeah. don't mind. Like, <laughs> I'm, like, Donnie's I'm like, getting like really close shots of Jeremy and people in the video are like, you guys are stupid, but like it's just a little tight. <laughs> so it was so tight in here, we actually had to put a ventilation system in here. Just uh, to get some air to move. Okay. Yeah. But, um, it does look like he's uh, growing marijuana down here, but he's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm to point that out. It's all it is legal in Massachusetts. That's true. Yeah. It's true. All right. No, we don't. But we don't. Yeah. <laughs> so how long have you had this down here, like uh, downstairs? How just long over a year. Mm -hmm. Just and, down here. Or, yeah. yeah. And yeah. how much crazy money did you invest in this project, sir? Uh, Do you 20, not want to talk about it? 30k. Maybe? 30k. <laughs> you, must, you, you must be pretty confident in your abilities. Well, that's with chameleons. That's with chameleons, the cages, the misting systems, the plants, you know, yeah. everything. There's a lot of chameleons in this room. A lot of chameleons. Right. So uh, obviously, cleaning can be a bit of a chore. So we talked about. You uh, have these tile setups, so you can just squeegee it down to this gutter system. Yes. I think that's genius. And it goes into the bucket. Look how it's right into the bucket. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's so awesome. So we, obviously we raised the back too, so we have some, what, uh, you know, yeah, so just to find us more. Yeah, that's really, um, really smart. And it's just like a wood, wooden stand that mm -hmm. kind of drags yep, it. Yeah, just a wood back. piece, you know, just cool. like a little two by four, just wedged up under there. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we raised everything up because before we had so much issues with the bugs getting into the pots. Yeah. And you know, getting moldy and just being wet all the time. So we just use some, they're, they're just building straps, 24 inch building straps. I screwed them into the side, took some wood, and there just lifted go. the pots. And then for the Miss King system, um, we have three different Miss Kings. I do have the ultimate. I mean, I have some that can actually handle 70 heads, but it was just too hard to bring all the way around the room. Right. So there, this whole entire back wall, side wall, and all these are on one. And then okay. this section's on one, and then the outside room's on one. But, uh, That's awesome. We run ours at night, um, three times a night. Right when the lights are going to go down, we do it once for a minute, minute and a half, half, and then maybe two minutes at around 11. 11. And then right when the lights come back on, we uh, kick it's it on again. Because you want the humidity high at night, not during the day. Right, we actually right. bring in the humidifier and try to get the humidity back down a little bit in the day. Because I don't really know what we're running right now. We're at 50. So at night, we'll get it up to 85, 90% here. Wow. Yeah. So so, so, so the humidity that those temp all those stuff are like super important to, to keeping these. For chameleons, it is. You know, yeah. want, you know, we'll breathe respiratory this. infections and stuff like that. Uh, so we've uh, definitely changed the, how we were missing. We were missing in the very beginning during the day, and realized nighttime definitely seems to work better. Yeah. That's they awesome. want it hot and dry and cool and moist. So, Interesting. Yeah. So Madagascar, if you read about it a little bit, it's not really that humid during the day. It's kind of windy there and it kind of dries out. Yeah. But at nighttime it always rains, so it's always humid. So Yeah. I think that's that's really, really important because a lot of people get them read Madagascar and just think, oh, hot, humid. It needs to be hot. And there's a lot of different time. sections of Madagascar, so it does you know, there is different chameleons in there. So we do keep some of the ones outside that tend to seem to like it a little bit cooler. Right, right. So that's outside the room, not outside in the snow. No. Yes. <laughs> yes. Outside the room. Yeah. Like the Mellers, for instance. Yeah, he yeah, likes yeah it exactly. Jackson's like it cooler. Right, right. Okay. Um, cool. Can we look at some babies? Yeah. So we can. I'm recording. So how old's the one I'm looking at right now? So this one is just about a week old. Born. The first one hatched January, uh, December 28th, and then I think two days later. So I want to say. 30th or the 31st. What do you, what the you other get? two came. Oh, okay. Well, what do you have to feed these right now? So right now, they they spend about three to four days just kind of living off of the rest of their yolk sac that they kind of 
ingested, and then um, fruit flies and bean beetles are what they're eating right now, and pinhead crickets. Calm down for a minute. So this one's about, uh, it was born in October, October 1st. So there's the difference in size. This one's actually starting to show its color. It's a nosy bay. And this one's starting to eat one-eighth crickets, a um, little bit of silkworms. We'll still feed them some bean beetles. Sometimes we'll throw a couple fruit flies in there still too for them just so they can eat. But uh, the, this one's eating some pretty decent sized crickets now already. Um, you're going to flare up a little bit so you can show you off your color a little bit. They can do all that at this age? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. They're already, this one's already showing some really great colors already. Um, so this one, like I said, it's like uh, almost almost three months. A little, a little over three months now. So this is something for you guys to think about really quick, right? So we've talked about, you know, if you breed ball pythons, you know, it takes 60 days, two months to incubate. Uh, if you're working with retics, it's 90 days or three months. Water monitors can take up to six months, right? So think about a water monitor, right? A monitor lizard that's hatching out about this big takes six months to incubate. A baby chameleon this big can take up to a year or more before it hatches out, and it's super teeny tiny. So that weight must be it's ridiculous. Like <laughs> yeah. And yeah. they don't hatch out all at the same time. No. Um, sometimes they get lucky. We'll get like one, two, and then during the summer, for some reason, when it's warmer, it does seem like we've came home and there's been 12 mm -hmm. right in one day. And then sometimes you'll wait, you'll get two or three, and then it's another month until you see the next couple. It's usually about a month yeah. again, so it's, from the first It all past. depends, but definitely in the winter, it seems like it takes longer to actually hatch. So that's the size of the AR. That's like, amazing. How many of these do you have in your house, man? Uh, close to 700, maybe. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all those. From, from all kinds, too. She's, she's, she's pregnant. Did we know she was pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you just well, grab that one? Yeah. And, and know it was um, pregnant? With your she's head. really oh, big. Oh, and kind of round. So he's using sort of a time. technique that only he would yeah. have. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. Oh, somebody's so a little upset. Sad. Somebody was Check ready to go to bed. Horns, What'd you do though. to it? What'd you do? <laughs> I oh. pinched him. Took it oh, out. Yeah, no, he took it he's out. grumpy. Yeah, he's a little grumpy. <laughs> so that's we don't handle the Jacksons as we much don't. as our Panthers. Yeah, yeah. They. You, you can see see how he's getting dark. He's got really stressed really easily. Yeah, he gets stressed a little bit more. I mean, we hold him a little bit, but not much. Yeah, they're just if they like, want oh, to come out, this. awesome, but you don't really want to force them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, exactly. They can get stressed pretty easily. Yeah. Is there like a particular type of chameleon to recommend to somebody that wanted to hold it more? A cool panther that likes to be held. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they're not all. I like. We have some that literally will come out like yeah, flash. Like flash, right, right. right. Um, and I have some that will not let you hold them. I mean, they just mm -hmm. don't. So you just really never know. Yeah. I would, I would guess the more you hold them when they're little. Oh. oh. Can you go further? Come on. Oh, you missed. missed! I've never seen you miss. Bam! All right. Yep. And these are like candy bars right now. That's so true. Yeah. He's probably really in heaven right now. <laughs> All right, Flash. One more, bud, and we'll give you your mean brother one. Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> check that out. <laughs> Of course, again, these Sorry, are God, super worms, so we don't feed these all the time to them because this is like a candy bar. But yep. considering we want to get some good photo here, we'll. These are a treat. What well, would be like something that wouldn't make them, I don't know, obese? Is that the word? Yeah, I mean, they're just a lot of fat in them. I mean, they, they taste good. Yeah. So we usually feed them dubias and crickets more, soap worms. I was looking at you guys. What? Thank you guys so much for having us down. We had a great time checking awesome. out some amazing chameleons here at Fram's Cams in Western Massachusetts. So where can we find you guys? Where can we follow you guys? Instagram, Facebook. We have our website almost finished, working on it. So we should be done pretty soon. So it's all Fram's Cams? Fram's Cams. So go over, give those guys a follow and a like. Fram's Cams, amazing animals. You'll get some amazing chameleons from them. And some first class knowledge as well, which is always really helpful coming from readers. We'll put all their links in the description below so make sure you check them out. Until then, we're going back to nerd. That's right. Do super nice. So do a super nice to somebody and have a fucking shipbag day.